Alright, so today I'm going to replace the thermocouple on my stove. My stove is not capable of starting, and I think that's because the pilot light won't stay on. And the thermocouple, I believe, is bad, and that's what is not allowing the, the pilot light to stay on because it doesn't sense a flame. So it's not just going to pump gas into the stove without, you know, having a flame there to control the ignition. So I'm going to take it apart, pull the thermocouple out, bring the thermocouple to the store, put it back in, start it up, see if that fixed it. Should be a pretty easy fix. Um, not really sure exactly how it comes apart, but let's figure it out. So here is the stove. Yeah, it looks like the front just kind of pops up, gets pushed backwards. And then you pull it forward. Huh, probably clean this up a little bit. Looks like a lot of little crummies. I'm gonna take all this nonsense out somehow. How's this come out? Ah, have to go. You have to go in and then out. All right, I took the shelf out. There was just a. I think five, there was one screw here, one screw there, one screw there, and then one screw there. And then there's one on the end of this deal that had a nut. This is the gas diffuser or what, whatever you call it. It's just held in by a little tiny clip here. You can take it off if you need. I have the thermocouple here, this top guy, because the flame comes out of this pilot light so it can ignite the gas along these tubes. This thermocouple is right above it to sense the heat. There are little clips in this that you can just depress. I use this little pocket knife. I depress them down and then it just pulls right out the back. You can just slide right out. And this, uh, this is what I'm going to be replacing. So now on the back side, or on the top side, you can see it just bolts in to basically this deal. Whatever the controller of some kind, looks like it just goes in with some sort of a wrench. So I'll unthread that. Let me get some light. And you can see it just goes down to the back and it has one clip there where it looks like I'll have to screw it off or maybe I can wiggle the end through there. So we'll see if I can do that and then get, take it to the store. All right, I have an eight millimeter wrench. I'm gonna try it on this thermocouple here. Remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now I just gotta kinda wiggle the whole thing out. Look, I wanna start seeing a lot more of you in the lab. Fine, I'll gain weight. All right, so I went to the store. I got this new thermocouple. Um, I did some troubleshooting just now. And basically, I can't keep the pilot light on. I can turn my knob over to pilot light, light it in there. If I hold the knob in, and force gas to the pilot light, then it'll stay lit. As soon as you would think the thermocouple is hot enough, you can release this, the pot light would go, and it would just stay on, or you could just turn the gas on. But the problem is, when I do this, or when I let go, the pot light just turns right off. So, I thought the problem was with the thermocouple, not telling the valve here that there was a flame down there but after some internet research with the cool odyssey who by the way has some cool videos you should check out has some good drone videos on some ghost towns and whatnot 
but kind of determined after I started taking the thermocouple off. So it's just an eight millimeter wrench to remove the thermocouple. And I'll show you what I did here. But so I can take the thermocouple off. Lefty loosey righty tidy. This should come off. And that's just the contact down there. There is an insulator there, so this is one end of it, basically one end of the circuit, and the outer edge of this is the other end. And then I took this off, and before you take this next piece off, you have to make sure the gas is off outside. So make sure you turn your gas off. Close your valve, I already did it. Jack's running away. So now you can take this off. There will still be gas in the line. I used a 14 millimeter for this guy. When you loosen it, this one is pretty tight. When you loosen it, you should hear some gas and and smell some gas. But behind this is the electro magnet. I'm not exactly sure actually how it even works. Besides that whenever it senses this is just a cap senses the certain voltage within the thermocouple. If you this focuses again it depresses this spring, which opens the valve that allows gas to go through. There's nothing really that can go wrong with this, as long as it seems like it operates correctly. So I just stuck it back in, I was like, well maybe it's not seated correctly. Stuck it back in. Kind of see it just sets there. Push it in a little bit, not much play. Put this back on, put the thermocouple back on, and when you stick the thermocouple back in, make sure that you stick it in all the way so that it comes in contact down there. So it's not, it's not like here or here, it's in all the way. Tighten that one up. tighten this other guy up too, nice and tight. So I did this. This is one thing I did that might have been the problem. Whereas after a while, after you drive and the road bounces all around, maybe this thermocouple here came loose with a contact with that spring, or maybe that spring mag electromagnet came out of position or something. So there could have been something in here that needed to be readjusted. So I did that. The other thing I did was if you take this cap off. Inside, you can see down there, there's some aluminum foil. Basically, what happens is, see how that's kind of at an, a weird angle here? When you push it in, it would come in contact with the side here. And now it doesn't come in contact, but before it would come in contact. So it's kind of like you were not able to depress this valve enough to allow the gas to go through. So, so just puts, just cram some aluminum foil down the bottom. Then you pack it in, and you push it in, then it should work. So it turned out that when I tried the original thermocouple, and the new one worked, and then the original one also worked. So I'm going to return the the new thermocouple, refeed my original thermocouple back down 
through the backs and that comes out there just like how it was previously installed redo everything put the tray back in there put the grills back slide this back in and put it all back together in reverse order it's kind of weird that troubleshooting fix this add some aluminum check the thermocouple I guess basically start with the simple stuff and then work to the more complicated things thank you for watching